Hello everyone! In this lesson, you will be able to subtract two-digit numbers from two-digit numbers by using a hundred chart. So we have used a hundred chart prior to this lesson, so I just want to remind you that whenever you are subtracting, you are going back or you are going up. Um, it all depends on how much you are counting. Let's work together on number five and then I'm going to allow you to do number six. So let's do number five together. I like to circle it so that I remember which one I'm working on. So for number five, the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to see what is it that they're asking me to do. And yes, our lesson is about subtraction, but I always encourage uh, the students to look at the sign. So in this sign is minus, that way you know that is subtraction. So we start with the first, uh, the first um, number. So we have 86. Let's look for number 86 here on our chart. There it is. So we are going to circle number 86. After we circle number 86, I'm going to look at my next number. And um, this number, since we're using the 100 chart, I'd like to start with the tenths place, just because we're using the 100 chart. So I, what I do is I underline my tenths place, and I'm going to see how many tenths do I have in the tenths place. And I see three. Why do I do that? Because when I see that there is three, tens I am going to go up three times because when you go up it's in the tens place so I'm gonna go one two three times so now I landed on 56 I'm done with the tens place now I need to look at my ones place and I need to go back four times according to the according to the number that I have in the tens place sorry in the ones place so let's look at the ones place I'm going to go back here four times. One, two, three, four. And my answer should be 52. So you see, when I am using the 100 chart, I look at my place value, which is going to help me. As you saw, I was able to go back three times because, go up three times because of the tens place and go back four times because of the ones place. So I want you to try on your own number six, pause the video, and then we'll do it together. So now let's do number six. We have our equal sign on this side, which doesn't really matter. It could be in the front and the back. We have to look at what is what the subtraction is. So we have 77 minus 42. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go and find where 77 is. So we have 77. We're going to circle 77. Then we're going to look at the tens place. So let's look at our tens place in 42. Um, we know that it's 4. So that's our tens place. Let's go up 4 times. So we're here, I'm going to go back four times, so up, one, two, three, four. And then after we go up four times because of the tens place, I'm going to look at my ones place. And my ones place is telling me to go back two times. So I start here and I'm going to go back one, two times, and I landed on 35. And that is my answer. So I write 35 here, and for the prior one, it was 52. So I'm going to write it. It's my answer. So I hope it was helpful, and uh, keep practicing. And if you find that this video was useful, please share it with your friends.